All right, what's up Dragon Brood? Today, we are taking a look at a very different deck for a card that's actually probably annoyed you on the ladder more than any of us want to admit. No, it's not really a metal deck with that stupid crab. But like we're talking about Arcane Bombardment. Mostly because I've wanted to put this deck on the channel, but I didn't just want to play one of the standard blue-red versions that you've been seeing a lot of. So, a little while ago, I got my hands on a black-red version. I've been tinkering with that. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. So let's go take a look at Rakdos Arcane Bombardment. If you want to support the channel, remember to check out shop.ultrapro.com slash PowerDragon and use promo code PowerDragon. You'll save 5% on everything you order over there at UltraPro. And that includes all the new sweet stuff from their Lemon Yellow collection this month. As always, be sure to check out the join button down below where you can get bonus stuff here on the channel and even get your stuff fe featured. Why did I say featured? Featured right here on the channel. This could be one of your decks, actually. All right, so taking a look at this, we have a few things we need to meet. We have to have plenty of mana because Arcane Bombardment's not cheap. We also have to have enough instants along with other things to do on our turn so that way we could take advantage of using Arcane Bombardment twice on a turn cycle. So we have a few different things going on that we're going to be trying to meet, and we still have to be able to remove the opponent's, opponent's creatures while we're setting up to get to our big key cards. So with all that in mind, let's take a look at where we're at. We've got four play with fire. We like this. Again, it's a cheap instant, so we can trigger the bombardment when it happens. We also are able to kill early creatures with it. We can scry and help us find things, so we don't hate this at all. We're playing four spike field hazard, but honestly, this is actually part of our mana package. So, yes, if we have to use it to kill, like, you know, if you have it in hand and your opponent plays, uh, like Luminarch Aspirant, well, yeah, you want to go ahead and get that out of the way, so you'll waste it for that. But a lot of times, we're going to probably be using this as land in the deck. Then we have four Voltage Surge. We do have a few ways to make some artifacts, so sure. Three Hunt for Specimens. Now, this is important because it lets us go get our lessons, and generally, we're going to be getting the lesson to let us draw a card. But we can also destroy an enchantment, we can exile a creature or a planeswalker. So we have a few other things available to us because we're playing Hunt for Specimens. And when you're trying to stall, not only are you getting to block something, you get to gain a life when it dies anyway. So that's a benefit as well. Now we're playing two Valky God Elides, mostly because we want Tybalt Cosmic Imposter, which is the backside. The thing here, though, I'll say is you can play it early if you want to. Because sometimes you just need to be able to look at the opponent's hand and get that extra information. And, you know, just getting a key creature out can be good. But generally, if you're even close, once you get to like 5-ish mana, if you think you have a way to get to 7, you probably want to wait and hold on and see if you can do something with this Tibble. We have 4 Blood Tithe Harvester. We're seeing this in enough list. It kills things. It's a 3-2 two for 2. Gives us some bodies in the decks. So we don't mind that. We have two Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Now, it's arguable I probably could have got away playing another one of these just because being able to attack and get the treasure is so important in this deck. But we're just running out of room. That's, that's really all I got. We're running out of room, and I don't know where we would have put it elsewhere. We have one Celestis, just for helping our mana. Two Hagra Mauling. This is pretty big because, again, it gives us a couple cards we can use as land, but having just access to a hard removal is pretty fantastic. Then we have four Big Score. This is going to be a lot of times which bridging the gap between us getting to 4 and to 7, right? Or, in the case of Bombardment, 4 to 6. But this guarantees you have 6 mana on the next turn, and then you get to do whatever. And that's if you don't draw a land as well. So a perfect situation would be end of turn, big score, get the cards, get the treasure. One of them is a land, I play it, I play Bombardment, so now I can use one of my Spikefield Hazard, Voltage Surge, play with fire on their turn, or even on my turn if we had to, to replay something out of the graveyard. Because it there are several ways to still get rid of Arcane Bombardment, so you want to make sure you're able to get at least one activation off of it, but hopefully two if you're very lucky. One on your turn, one on the opponent's turn. But if you can't, you can't. Invoke Despair. This card's just really damn good, especially when you get it for free under an Arcane Bombardment. A lot of times your opponents are just going to scoop to that. And then burn down the house because we actually are able to sweep the board. But generally, if you get this under bombardment, you're just like, make three dudes. Make three dudes. You know, you do that a couple times, and that's going to get the thing done as well because they also have haste. Then, like I said, three arcane bombardment, two hive of the high tyrant, four swamp, one takanuma, two mountain, four blightstep pathway, four haunted ridge, 
three Zeotaurus Proving Ground, and one Field of Ruin. I will also say this. If you notice the list, we do not have any Meat Hook Massacre. Now, part of that is we do have a ton of removal, right? We got Play With Fire, Spike Fatalities, Vorge of Surge, uh, Bloodline Harvester, Hagra Mauling, Invoke Despair, Burn Down the House. So hopefully there won't be many things that we would actually be able to sweep anyway with the Meat Hook Massacre. So hopefully I don't think we're missing it. But it is something to consider if your games run that way. Feel free to find room for it. The card is pretty dumb. All that being said, y'all know the drill. We're going to play some games. At the end of the games, at the end of the video, we'll talk about what updates we're going to make to this. But in the meantime, go enjoy the games, and I'll catch you on the other side. What are we going to do with this dang thing? We're obviously going to keep this. Uh, we're just not going to do a lot. Actually, that's not true. That's not true. If we keep this, we can play Blood Tithe Harvester on two, and that's mostly fine. We're just going to play the Proving Ground on one, I think, is the game plan here. All right. Opponent, opponent. Are you going to set us up with something? Uh, I was like, man, okay. That's actually fine. I was about to say, don't let him play uh, Aspirant and me just sitting here holding this when I could have cast it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... Hmm. I mean, play this. But... Do we try to shoot that? I think we pass. Let's see if the opponent tries to put something on that first and see if we can get them. We feel like you're missing out with those long white boxes of uncommons and commons from Tempest and Urza Block. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many. It, it, like, Tempest and Urza Block? Yeah, yeah. Lots of commons and uncommons in those. You could you could do well with those. All right. Sadly, I think we have to try to kill the... Twin blade guy? Actually, man, do we just... Uh... Alright, alright. I feel like this draw is not going to get us where we want to go. Which is very sad. Man, that is almost there. <laughs> it's, it's so close. Like, it's trying real hard to be the correct answer. I think we do this anyway, though. If we draw an untapped land, we have access to burn down the house. If not, we could Voltage Surge. If we're really hard up, we could Voltage Surge and sacrifice the the uh, Celestis. Like, if they were to... I don't know. Maybe if they try to play uh, Raiju here, that could be a problem. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen. That's just annoying. A second one of those. Okay, sure. All right, we're going to take the damage here. Go to 17, go to 14. Come on, untap land. We failed to deliver. Now we have a real problem. Because if we pass, this is going to get to put a counter on something. So that's not going to help our situation. Uh, I don't really want to pass here. I guess we just do this. Because at least we can block something with that. And worst comes to worst, I can get rid of a card to try to fetch for a land. We can still kill the Twin Blade Geist. We can block something else as necessary if they don't have the removal card. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I guess this was part of the plan to begin with. <laughs> None of that, friend. None of that. I mean, I'll block. I mean, we'll trample for one, or get trampled for one, I mean, but that's fine. Okay, I feel I feel like we came out okay in that exchange. That that is not not bad. I'm just trying to think what they're gonna do now. You could play one something for one and pay that. All right, I'm going to gamble on us getting down a uh, bombardment here next turn. I'm I'm with it. Uh, proving Ground probably gets discarded here. I mean, all we have is just Voltage Surge and Spikefield Hazard in the yard, so we don't have the best spells to replay with, with our game bombardment right now. 
But I have a feeling it's going to be a surprise for the opponent that they're not really expecting that here. Oh, you're going to get rid of my Hive of the Eye Tyrant? I wouldn't be mad about that. Uh, sure. I'm actually going to get some mana here. And I think I am going to discard one burn down the house to give us a shot at getting that under the bombardment. Uh, we've got two black. We do need one more black mana. Well, we have black mana in hand. Eh, let's get this. Ill-tempered loner. That's annoying, because that's we're going to take five from that damn guy. Eesh. Okay. That's going to suck. Mm, not quite big enough to deal with that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're not going to have a choice. Ah, that's tough. And another burn down the house. Of course it is. Uh, okay. Sometimes the decks just troll you. Um. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I mean, we kind of have to just eat our five, which sucks. Or we just die to that thing. Yeah, we go to nine. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Please don't have something that costs two, because that's going to suck. If they do, we're probably dead. All right, they're going to put us to six. All right. Oh, no. All right. What are the odds we die to... We die to a bunch of things now. Oh, boy. Um... I feel like we gotta do this, and there's an off chance we get to do this at instant speed next turn. So, we're just gonna run it out there, hope for the best, see if we stabilize it around three. That's our best case scenario. Oh, uh, are we dead? Yeah, now they can give it double strike, right? Yeah. GG's. Oh, no, because it, it would tap that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that was... I don't know what they just, why they just did that, but we are okay with it. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, let's do this. So we can get some bombardment fun. Great, I'll take that. Uh, we will get something to gain life. And I will wait on that because I actually want to cast this. We're going to discard this. Uh, whatever they're going to attack with probably flies or tramples, so I don't think it matters. And we're just going to try to cast another one of these anyway, so sure. Back to daytime. This has been a very strange, uh, stabilization. Oh, you know what? We'll just put that in the graveyard. I think that's fine. We'll increase our odds of hitting that thing. Okay. And they want to activate that. We want to cast this. Discard this. And we want to cast that. And we're going to deal five to things. And we're going to do that. And we'll send that at the opponent. All right. Most excellent. Don't hate that at all. Uh, we will discard a spike field hazard. Play a land. We're going to gain some life. Do, do, do. Make us some little duders. Play big score. Uh, we will discard this so we have an instant to use. Uh, shoot the opponent. Fair enough. That should seal things up for us. Because now we have an additional removal card. We should be all good. We've got cards to discard. 
Yeah, everything's all nice and good now. Uh, we'll just discard this. All right. I think we did it. Not the traditional way to do it, but I think we did it. No, friend, no. Sorry. All the value. Double spike field hazard? Yeah, there you go. Woo! I mean, I guess we keep this. It doesn't really do anything, sadly. I mean, we can kind of sort of play Valky for sport, but that's about it. And I don't even know if we should, is the thing. Because, like, I kind of want to here. Oh, well, never mind. That at least gives me something else to do. That's actually probably e almost equally productive here. All right. Your go, opponent. What we got? Dead Harvester? No! This Harvester eats so many bullets, man. Let me tell you. All right. Well, now we have a backup Valky, and that sort of changes things. What are the odds? You know what? Let's just do this. And see if they come after our Celestis or not. We're just going to pass. It's not worth trading, giving them the mana for nothing there. Who knows? They may just be playing Deadly Dispute anyway. Well, oh, Village Rights. Just the same. Well, I guess not quite the same. They don't get a bonus treasure, which is nice. All right. We're almost getting to where we want to be. Eye twitch. Hmm. Okay. You have an eye twitch. Anything else? Ah, Loth. See, I know. There's always something else. There's always something else. My children drench All right. Their hands Let's just off her. Of my enemies. <laughs> they get some spiders. We will slay. All right, I guess now we just don't want to find a burn down the house, right? That's our working game plan at the moment. Uh, We're not far from this, actually, so let's go ahead and go with this. I mean, they'll obviously just sack eye twitch, but let's see if we get something off these other cards. We really didn't. Ugh. Okay. Well... Not a lot we can do here. They're going to get rid of our Celestis. That's unfortunate. All right. I mean, we're not going to be able to block the spider, so we're just going to have to take some damage here. Not much we can do about it. Yep. So that is going to slow us down from being able to play our Tybalt. But is what it is. All right. We found some action here. Let's go with this. Let's go ahead and get this, because that's going to be pretty important. And I think I'm just going to attack. I mean, we can kill two spiders here, so no need to sweat it too much. Not the greatest use of these cards, but eh, still get us where we're going. Yeah, that's fine that that dies. Like, we haven't had a good target to really use that on, so it's it's okay. Opponents going into the attack step. Let's kill a spider. Or at least try to. And then let's kill another spider. All right. Let's see if that does it. Okay, they're down to two cards. And we've got potentially a Valky in two turns. Let's see what happens. Sure, you get to kill this. Doesn't really change much. 
we will get a uh, black land, I suppose. Do we want it? We don't want to get rid of one of those. We'll just draw. Uh, that's fine for the most part, I guess. We'll take this. And then they kind of wanted this to die last time. I mean, block or don't block. Doesn't bother me any. Oh, so they are blocking. So they definitely don't even have creatures in hand. We like that. We like that. All right. Now let's just find one more mana. I mean, they're not far from just blood on the snow either. Well, they're going to do that now. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Here comes old Lolf. Let's find a burn down the house deck. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to get rid of one of these Valkyries because we got to go on the hunt. That is not it. Hmm. Yeah, I... Gosh. I think we still do it, because having seven land while nice doesn't help us if we can't deal with everything going on right now. All right. That's not too bad. This can allow us to get where we want to go. Though I think it starts by getting rid of this. All right. Nothing more. So enough of that shenanigans. We'll go ahead and kill one of these. Mostly because if we do get to play Tybalt, we can get rid of a token, which sucks, but like we can if we have to. All right, well, there's a burn down the house. So that's mostly fine, I suppose. Let's just make some one ones. And then, uh, yeah, we'll attack with one of them. Why not? What can they get out of the yard here? Is this all just one power things? Yeah, it looks like it. Meat hook, sure. All right, now we definitely want to get that one land. Okay, come on now. Commander's RC came up with a big raid. Just in time to see us get to cast a Tybalt here. And I'm not even going to exile that 1-1. One, one. We're just going to go ahead and get cards. Hopefully they don't have a thing to kill a Planeswalker. They probably do. But you know what? Let's see what happens. They don't have it. That is excellent. We like that a lot. Most excellent. We're going to do this again. Ooh, nice. Nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and snag one of these. We can play the long game now. And we will probably just... Play this, why not? Get this. I mean, might as well do the thing. All right. We're going to town now. I mean, we got options with Big Score coming up. We've got Mascot Exhibition. They don't have a way to deal with the Tybalt right now. This is pretty good. I don't even think I want to ultimate Tybalt here, honestly. Let's see what else we can find. Let's be greedy. Oh, greed is good, y'all. Greed is good. You could have such power. All right, we're going to attack. You are too weak. And the best bit here is that if they do get a Blood on the Snow, they actually have to use it to kill Planeswalkers. Downside is, we would send their own Planeswalker back to their yard that they could get back, which kind of sucks. But I'm actually mostly okay with that. 
all things considered. My will cannot be denied. All right, let's get some spiders in the meantime. And My let's go ahead and play this. Annihilation. All right. Here we go. This is like the longest I've had Tybalt sit on the field. We're about to just minus Tybalt, actually. <laughs> like the game got so out of hand, we're just going to go big. Because we get to play all of this. So just like, yeah. Uh, we don't even need to discard anything. This is fine. Look at all the cards we have. I can't even see everything. Like, we have so many cards. This is wild. All right. I can't remember the last time I've had Tybalt just do the thing. Like, we just have all the things. Uh, they have another... What's it called in here, right? I thought there was another... There's not one. Okay. Never mind. I was seeing things. Uh, let's go with... Let's just play a burn down the house. Gain the life and attack, right? Oh my gosh, we have so many cards. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> we have Hagramalling. We could play on... I mean... Hmm. But we kind of also need the Hagramalling if we're going to try to resolve a despair or something. I think we keep it. And just... There's a chance Hagramalling is just going to be played as a land on turn three. Maybe. We'll see. Jaybo, how's it going? Thanks for the birthday wishes. Um Okay. Man, we just played against mono black. Like I'm okay, good. That's gonna be like the same thing though. Black, white, and black mono black play almost the same way right now. Like Ugh. Ugh. Both those decks, like not nothing wrong with the decks, they're good. But they play very boring. Oh. Strict Proctor. I mean, it's a card that doesn't do anything to us. I just wasn't expecting to see it there. Alright. I mean, I guess we just off this then. No chance for them to discard it or sacrifice it or whatever. Shane says, Your alchemy video was great, good points, and most importantly, satisfactory. Well, thank you so much for that. I try. I really do genuinely try to be fair and measured in a lot of those videos. Um... Yeah, alright. I guess so. Uh, go get this. I think, unfortunately, I have to get a red mana here. So I'm not going to get to cast this Invoke Despair for a little bit. Uh, even more important, we get it now. So we can get this burn down the house off. Uh, yeah. Go get that mountain... Play this. I'm trying to work this strategically here. Uh, go ahead and cast this. Get. I feel like I should go get a mascot exhibition, but I'm actually gonna get this because there's with I don't know. I just feel like there's gonna be a planeswalker or something. I'm gonna be upset. I can't get rid of later. Yep, I'm gonna draw a card. Blood for knowledge. Oh, there we go. We're gonna get the whole team, y'all. We're gonna get all of them. We're gonna light all these bad boys up. Talk about burn down the house. This whole place is on fire. Uh, you know what though? These guys are gonna die anyway, right? Let's see if we can get some damage in on the opponent. You have, might as well block. You know if I'm sending these in, something's going down, right? Like, I'm just telegraphing what's happening. Like, okay. Smart blocks, opponent. Smart blocks. Deal to everything. There you go. I return to the abyss. Now, if they do get a Planeswalker back, we can shoot either one of them for two, so that helps. 
The thing I'm concerned about right now is the opponent really hasn't played much, so there's a chance that they, that last card is a Vanishing Verse, which would not be good for us. So, hmm. What do we do here? I guess we play this tapped, because we kind of, well, hmm. Problem is, we sort of want to cast the Invoke Despair. We also need to be able to free up stuff for the Arcane Bombardment. And technically, we could use... All right, all right. This is fine. This is fine. Let's go ahead and just play this tap. Like, we take a hit from the Scavenger here or whatever, but that's fine. Just realizing that, like, we could shoot the 1-1 and then they have to sacrifice the... Uh... Scavenger to the Invoke Despair. Oh, Wandering Emperor was the last card. Okay. I, that was a thing. Um, now I still have to waste this on that card, so they have to sacrifice everything on their board. Like, it's still the right play, but it just feels real bad using two cards on that. But that was good. We basically got them to play out their Planeswalker. Oh, because they still get the token anyway. Gosh, damn it. All right. Well, we got lucky and drew this, so this is fine. And then we'll just play Invoke Despair next turn. Hopefully they don't play a creature here. Okay, they didn't. Good deal. All right. Now we're starting to get to where we want to be. And they give up. Awesome. We will keep this, though. BPs have always enjoyed self mill decks. Oh, and reanimator types. I get that. Hey, Mets, how's it going? BM King says hello. Well, hello to you, BM King. How's it going? Uh, let's run some things out here and see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Let's go with this. All right, so far so good. Is this the opponent just gonna run out a? Uh... Oh, it's gonna be a virtuoso. Been seeing a lot of those blue white decks lately. Uh, okay, so I guess we just try to attack. I mean, we're not gonna just not do anything here, right? If you can kill it, you can kill it. They're choosing to let it go through. Okay, yeah, we'll take Surge, makes sense. Uh, Voltage Surge, I should say. Um, yeah, let's put this in tapped. Hold on to this, in case there's dragons or something in our future we need to take down with the Hagra Mauling. But we'll see. Oh. I did not expect to see green mana. What is this? What is these? Huh. Well, not gonna lie, I am at least a little bit confused here. Hmm. I mean, do we just discard play with fire? <laughs> and just try to. Well, no, if we discard bombardment, I mean, Hagra Mauling, we could possibly cast bombardment and play with fire next turn. So let's, let's do this. I'm gonna gamble here. Mostly while the shields are down and we know we could get that card off. That's the biggest thing. All right, then we pass. All right, let's see what the opponent does. If we can get their blue mana tapped down, we might have a chance to do something here. I don't know what they're playing, though. I really have no idea. I'm actually kind of excited. I think I'm going to get wrecked by something I don't see coming. I wouldn't call that the thing we're going to get wrecked by, but kind of cool, though. Um, Let's hope they don't have the card that we're afraid of. Please don't have something that stops this. Ah, they do. Gosh dang it. Oh, they didn't. Wait, what? What? Oh, man. All right. Um, uh, 
do we just try to do this now in case we hit a Hagramalling that could kill a Galazeth? Nah, we just pass. Whatever. Let's go. We don't have to worry about them copying Galazeth. And we can also just shoot that, so that's fine. Alright. Let's see what's up. They have five mana. No gold span dragon. That is very nice for us. Because that could have been a gold span turn for real. Uh, what next? Expressive iteration. Okay, sure. We'll let that ride. Man, I, I can't even remember the last time I saw an opponent cast a Galazeth. Seriously. Like, it's been... Man, it may has it been since the beginning of the year since somebody's played one of those against me? Like, oh, they had a beside you. Damn. Okay. Dang it. Well, maybe we get a big score? Maybe? Okay, they're fair. That's fine. We got the trigger on the bombardment. That's all we really wanted. All right. Either I want to... Okay, Hagramalling. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's fine. Okay, and we do go get a land. So that's fine. Is there anything good in the yard to get? Not really. Let's go ahead and sack this. Get rid of this. See if we can dig to another one. Ah, that ain't bad either, though. Oh, that is great. Oh, that was fan-freaking-tastic. Did not expect to draw that. Oh, man. All right, let's do it. Now we have the counters. Ah, 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 ah. Granted, they have a lot of mana, so it's probably going to do nothing. But we at least have it. All right, come on now. Oh, I need to quickly pull a chat log here. Uh, mm. All right. Let's... All right, what are we looking to do here? Let's exile this guy. So we get one when we want it later. And let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, and the opponent gives up. All right, cool, cool. We get to go first, and this looks fairly straightforward. I don't know if I want to leave mana open for play with fire or not. But otherwise, this is fine. We're not going to throw this back for sure. Yeah, this is the thing I was saying. That just the dragon that flies in from off screen. So they're definitely adding new effects to Arena, which is pretty cool. I can dig that. All right. Uh, and this is kind of what I was thinking. Like, had I left mana up for that, I would have played this on two. But now I kind of can't play it on two. Well, I mean, I guess we still could. What's the worst that happens? They play, like, Luminarch Aspirant? I mean, I guess that's a thing. But we're not going to do anything different on three, though, so... Yeah, whatever. We'll just pass. I want to be able to take out an Aspirant, if possible. I don't want to waste this on an Usher. Or, or a Thalia. <laughs> she would be a pain in our side, for sure. Like, that's real. All right. Whoa, that has effects too? Did y'all see that? The random sparks from Play With Fire? Like all these cards, like ran You know what? Good on R&D or the developers or whatever. Like having more cards have random effects is actually super fun. Not remotely mad at that. I think it's great, honestly. I really do. Like this is cool. Uh, let's get, do we want pest summoning to block more things or do we want necrotic? fumes to kill more. I think we 
necrotic fumes. I don't know why I think there's going to be something like Redain or something that we haven't seen in forever, but like I'm going to need to kill that. That's sort of what it feels like. Uh, all right, let's block then. Wow, you didn't even spend the mana to make a token. Why is that? Add a line. Sure, sure. That makes sense. Um, we'll do this. We'll do this. We will go get some land. And probably has to be one of these. Unfortunately, they're going to play a creature here, so we're not going to get what we want out of the Invoke Despair, which is a little bit tough. Oh, that's super unfortunate. Well, I guess I know what we're going to be sacrificing, huh? <laughs> this is why we got the Necrotic Fumes, I guess. Oh, that's actually not bad. Okay, we could live with that. So we kill this. Sacking this. Pass the turn. Another adversary. Okay. That's going to get paid for, I'm assuming. Alright, we'll kill this other one. Alright. This is probably... It's close. Oh no, that's not from the... I thought that was from Play With Fire. I think it's from this dragon spitting sparks or whatever. <laughs> that's random, but cool, I guess. Um, Alright. Let's play the Proving Ground. Let's just play this. I know we're not going to get what we want out of it. We're still going to get smacked for four, plus they're going to play another dude, but whatever. Okay, that's fine. And there's Redane. See, I knew there was going to be a Redane. I told y'all. I don't know why, I just felt it in my bones that there was going to be a Redane today. Um, what do we do now? Oh, we can't play big score. Actually, we can after we play our land. Um, all right, we're going to be very contrived to not die here. I almost want to play this just to play it, but it's the only thing we have going for us, so we can't do that. Oh, we can't. Big score is six. I was thinking it was only one more. Gosh dang it. Yeah, we're wrecked. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead. Uh, I misplayed this whole thing. I should have just played the big score last turn. Yeah, the only thing we could have drawn here... Oh, it wouldn't even have mattered. We would have been one short for, like, burn down the house. Yep. That was a big mistake on my part. Could have still won that, but I goofed it up. For whatever reason, I've just used the, the two-tailed fox thing. This thing. Oh, you can't see it. It's behind me. <laughs> but I think that's the other reason, too. Because of where I set my camera, you can't really see it anyway, so... Eh. All right, let's see if this hand turns into something. Feels like a reasonable start, but we'll see. Could end up with just a bunch of creatures dying, because I think this is about to take a bullet. Oh, he didn't! Look at that! We each get to live a turn. That's exciting. And all we're staring at is a Commando Faces Kakazan, huh? Okay. Nice. I'm willing to get smashed in the face by a hasting. Why not? Mostly because we can play this and then kill it, so... Oh, we will definitely kill that. <laughs> that will be a real problem if we don't. Uh, we actually aren't going to get rid of any of these cards. These are all kind of important to the plan right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this to kill this. And 
then we'll attack with this one. And pass. And the turn. All right. What's funny is I have a werewolf deck I actually think I'm going to play tomorrow. Thundering Rebuke. No, that's all right. Kind of did its job just making that other uh, blood token. Cause that's all we really wanted. All right, down to 17. All right, here's hoping the opponent does not have a Baseju. We're going to attack. If I were to big score, we would only end up with one, two, three, four, five. Not enough. All right, let's go ahead and do this. If you got it, you got it. I mean, we don't have anything in the yard yet, so no threats. <laughs> but we're going to try to big score into something. Or actually draw something we can discard, and then big score lets us play it. But we'll see. Opponent's coming at us for four. We are not going to block. Because that's just silly. All right. What big six mana thing do we have to be afraid of here? Or is it not? Maybe it's two smaller things. Oh, it's a burn down the house. Okay, weird. Again, y'all, I keep telling people I don't understand people putting all these sweepers in their aggro decks. Mostly because things like this happen. Like, once you... Yeah, exactly. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Ooh. This one's at least interesting. I'm going to keep this. Like, we can do some things with this little hand. All right, let's run this out there. Does it get bounced? It does not, but they're going to consider. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's a little bit of a surprise. Just blue mana, blue mana, and nothing else. What does that mean for us? I mean, I guess I want to play one of these, and uh, I mean, mostly just because they have like Gerari's disruption. But like, it's kind of all I'm hedging my bets on there. And then next turn, we're probably just playing Spikefield Hazard tapped, opening the doors for other things. Oh, I guess we're playing this tapped instead. Actually, I say that. Maybe we're not. Because at least we can cycle this. Alright. I mean, we kind of want to get to six mana too, but... Meh. Meh. Okay, there's some white mana. So what are we up against here? There's Virtuosos. Okay. So many Virtuosos on the ladder right now. Lots of blue-white, lots of green-white. Do, do, do. All right. Well, this either gets countered or they're going to bounce their own guy or whatever. Tis fine, though. Nope. Not even that. What hand did you keep with no spells and a virtuoso you can't really protect? Like, what the what? That is so strange. There's almost no way I would have thought that was going to resolve, y'all. Seriously. That just seems ridiculous that that actually happened. I mean, I guess their hands all counters. And all right, we attack. I mean, you got to bounce something, I guess. Ooh, the hard way with Ottawara. All right, well... There's a thing. So now I gotta deal with creatures and the bombardment. My opponent just says GG. Man, that's a weird game. All right, so what did we learn from this one? Right, I kind of feel like 
it did a very good job handling the creature decks. No surprise with the amount of removal that's there. So if you have been dealing with lots of Boros aggro, mono white aggro, mono green, stuff like that, like this is gonna actually check those boxes pretty well. And it's actually not too bad against the like blue white tempo decks or the magecraft decks, which we've been seeing. So you actually have a reasonable shot against those decks. Now, admittedly, those decks can always just get the right cards and that's fine, but does pretty well against those. Now, one of the current concerns I would say it has is against the slower decks that are actually packing a fair amount of counter spells and whatnot. Those are actually not very friendly for this deck, partly because you're gonna end up with a fair amount of dead cards as well as them being able to sit back and worry about just your few big cards. So that gets a little bit tough to work around in a best of one scenario. Now, best of three, a little bit different because then you can sideboard in duresses and whatnot, and that's all fine and good, but just something to be aware of. That being said though, I wouldn't worry about those matchups all that much because it's gonna be slanted more the other way. And if you can win a bunch of those matchups, I would take that scenario with those wins more often anyway. The only other thing I might potentially change is if you're talking about maybe taking something like one of the voltage surges and maybe one of something else and turning into a hard removal of uh, the lower cost, whether that's an infernal grasp or not, something like that. But just having one or two more just like removal that are just hard removal maybe even it's just like i don't know hero's downfall or something right like that's a real answer but something like that to allow you to be able to just target the removal regardless of the size or whatever else is going in with the creature but that's probably it i don't think i would really change too much else this was actually a fun deck just be aware that you have to be very careful about how you spend your resources and it's not always the most forgiving but it will give you a hugely positive exciting outcome if you're willing to fight through it now for today's card spotlight, we're gonna talk about Dreadbor. Mostly because this card hasn't had a real reprint in a minute. I think the last one was in the Ravnica Guild kits, which were at this point, what is that? Like four years ago, it feels like? It's been a while. So you have that problem, right? But it actually is starting to get more popular as we start looking at Pioneer and, and Modern or whatever, as people start going back to these RCQs. I think that's what we're calling those. The tournaments that qualify you for the regionals that qualify you for the Pro Tour. But that actually means this card has slowly crept back up to being about a $6 card, which is not crazy expensive. But when you consider this at one point was starting to slide down to like the dollar range not that long ago, like eh, it might be time for a reprint on something like these. So if you do actually have a deck that needs these, I would probably pick them up sooner rather than later since we don't know when the next good chance is for it to be reprinted. And this card's still just very damn good. I mean, I would even play it in Commander if you had the opportunity. I mean, it still destroys a creature or a Planeswalker for just two mana. Admittedly, it's sorcery speed, but that's just a lot of power for that mana cost. Now, as always, you can come join the Discord to talk about today's deck, or you can come share your decks and get help, or you can just join the streams to be part of all the shenanigans. Lots of ways to interact. But if you like this Rakdos deck, I'm going to show you a Jun deck and... Let you have some fun over here, because if you like these colors with red and black, I got other fun decks with red and black in them too. But that's all I have for you for now. We'll see you next time.